So w- where do you see your content um, like evolving over the next, like say year or months or however long? Because obviously you're like pretty good at churning out almost these daily uh, like mm. personal vlog style. Do, do you plan on sticking with that? Or now that like you, you're going to be starting school again, are you going to be like reducing it or are you going to stick to exactly what you're doing? Like what, what's your, what's your plans going mm. forward? That's a really good question because it's something, especially with school starting up is I literally have classes coming up next Monday. So that is one of the things that I've been thinking about a lot because mm. I really want to prioritize YouTube, but I also, you know, spend a lot of money on classes. Have so to be responsible. I can't really, yeah, exactly. So I can't really just throw those out of the, like throw those in the trash for this whole YouTube thing, which isn't yeah. necessarily as lucrative or yeah, I've been giving me the that. opportunity. Yeah. It's yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But you know, that's why I'm trying to d- figure out what I'm trying to do. I think mm-hmm. I want to continue to make daily videos just because the process of it isn't all that taxing because yeah. when I, you know, if you just look through my channel, you'll see I'm wearing the same shirt in like three <laughs> videos in a row. And then like, so I just batch a bunch of videos. That's literally what I did yesterday. Yeah. I was out and I was just recording like three videos in a row, just yeah, nice. spending maybe like 30 minutes out of my day to sit down and not even sit down. I was walking around, but record a bunch <laughs> of videos that are generally around the same topic. So then they kind of continue into the next yeah. and it also helps my own workflow and thinking when I'm trying to create mm-hmm. the video. So I'm not thinking about, Oh, here, let's talk about finances right now. And then mm-hmm. I'm going to talk about fitness for the second topic. And then mm-hmm. I'm going to talk about some discipline for the third topic and have my brain trying to scatter all around. It's a lot easier to stay in the flow state of just like speaking to the camera when all mm-hmm. the topics kind of relate. So with batching, batching is a great idea. If I think you could do it with high production, qual- like high quality production content as well, because I've had, I've heard that tip going around just the YouTube space in general for mm-hmm. people who are trying to create, not even just someone who's doing just talking vlogs, you know? So yeah. I think that batching is a great thing and especially when it's on the same subject at least for me personally it helps a lot because it just keeps me in the same rhythm and i don't know the words just kind of flow a lot Mm. easier yeah definitely once you get into that state um i i agree because you can and i normally find i hit that towards the end of my video like just the couple of unscripted ones that i've done i've actually done a take and then thought oh finally I'm in the zone now so I end up completely reshooting the video from the Mm. beginning and my second take is generally always better just because I've sort of developed that mental flow um but even then it's um (laughs) I actually was that one where I'm walking around the park I was holding up the the phone the whole time and I swear like if I hadn't been going to the gym I just because my arm was like aching from just holding the phone because you know it's not heavy or anything but you yeah. think about holding it out there for uh, probably close to 10, 15 minutes. It was just like, exactly. oh, wake up Getting sore than I actually, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. I woke up sore than, than I would normally get after doing, you know, front delt raises at the gym. It's just mm. like, <laughs> bloody hell. But how old are you yeah, at the moment? Funny. I'm 20 right now. Um, okay, nice. I, my birthday is in February. So that's when I'll be 21 officially. Yeah, I'm wow. sure. Do you guys are you guys able to like what are your laws over there? Do you have uh, to want to do a bunch of stuff? Okay. Yeah, eighteen. So yeah, we kind of peak a bit early. Uh, doing yeah, all sure. the drinking, they um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. No, it's it's interesting because yeah, yeah. Obviously, I I knew you said you were studying, and I, I assumed you were young, but I didn't think twenty because yeah, you seem a lot more mature uh, for for twenty and. Yeah, that, that was one of the things I wanted to ask you, like what made you get into self-improvement, particularly at such a young age? Like normally most people don't realize they've screwed their lives up until, uh, you know, several years later. And then they're like, oh, shit, maybe I should do something. Yeah, the midlife crisis at like yeah, 40 when you realize what have I done with my life? But oh, That I was think... me at 25 <laughs> and at 30. So, <laughs> Okay, well, hey, that's that's good that you have able to have these... Um like perspective changes 
because mm-hmm. a lot of people don't get there till like their midlife exactly and oh. that's why that whole thing's a phrase yeah but for sure for me i think the internet played a big role in my journey so it all the classic it starts with a heartbreak kind of thing mm. um i was talking to this this one girl in junior year of high school so I, i've been on the self improvement thing for like 3 years but yeah, wow. mm. it's not anything that's like new to me it, i just started doing like documenting it and sharing my lessons a couple mm. months ago because of i always had this like fear of oh people are going to look at me weird if i'm trying to make a youtube channel because i had like some videos that i posted earlier i had actually i had like fortnite montages on there <laughs> because i used to be a gamer like that i had yeah. some call of duty clips of nice. black ops 3 back in yeah. the day and then yeah i used to play I black have... ops 2 and advanced warfare those, those were my uh yeah my two yeah sorry black, keep going. black ops 2 is great black ops yeah. 2 is my one of my favorite games but um yeah so I also have some video, like I have my move in video. That's like my, my first video that I think is up on my channel mm. currently because it still kind of marks, it has some resemblance of the introspection that I keep in today's video. So that's kind of why I kept it up as mm. well as my max week videos, which are just basically me lifting and my friends oh, yeah. lifting because yeah, of, nice. uh, during I think freshman year of college. So that's kind of when I started like posting on YouTube, but I didn't really get into it until the end of sophomore year or my second year in college. Mm. And so, yeah, I think I, after a, my first breakup, I kind of just have, I went into like some sort of like, I guess you could call it a depression, but I wouldn't really, I can't really classify it as I wasn't really, a lot of people say they're depressed, but it's not really diagnosed by a doctor or anything. So I wasn't diagnosed by a doctor, so I'm not going to say I was depressed. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's a little bit of a slump there where you feel like less than because somebody Mm -hmm. else, because she broke up with me basically. And, you know, just having that feeling of unrequited love, I think everybody's experienced that before. And it's not a good feeling Mm -hmm. when you kind of feel like you've put in more than the other person. And, you know, it's it's just like the classic heartbreak story. And then that I was like sad for like maybe five months and didn't do anything about it. Yeah. But for some reason, I got into the I was, you know, I was looking on YouTube how to how to get a girl back, stuff like that. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And then so do you know who like uh, Steph, Steph is cold and AMS? Do you know who these people are? No, I don't think so. Mm. Okay, so these are like the like three years ago the like alpha male thing was like really popping. And okay. they that's kind of how I got into the red pill was going through these like I was making my like transition from being a beta and blue pilled into like yeah. red pill and alpha. I don't even know where this whole sigma thing came from to be honest, but I that, think that's, that's a recent the only thing. Two I knew. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. Um, I didn't even know about that. 